In this video, I'm going to work through this optimization problem. So I'm given a right circular cone and it's inscribed in a sphere and the sphere has radius one meter. So this is the center of the sphere. So the distance to the edge is one meter here and here. I'm asked to find the maximum volume that the cone may have. So first let me label that radius. So this is one and this is also one. Now I need to get a formula for the volume in terms of one variable. Well, I know that the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. But if I want to maximize the volume, I'd like to get this in terms of one variable so that I can differentiate and use a technique for finding the maximum volume. So I'd like to get h in terms of r or r in terms of h, and it would be even better if I could get r squared in terms of h. So let's think this through a little bit. Now over here, if I extend this down, I have a right triangle. And the radius of my cone is here, that's r, that's also r. And so let's label that r. And if this distance from here to here is h, that's the height of my cone, and this radius is one, then I know that this has to be h minus one. So I'm going to label that two. So that's h minus one. And now I can get a formula that involves both h and r by using the fact that I have a right angled triangle here and the Pythagorean theorem. So I get h minus one squared plus r squared is one squared, which is of course one. And since I have r squared here, I think I'll just solve for r squared and then I can get this completely in terms of h. So let's go ahead and do that. And so I have that r squared is one minus h minus one squared. And simplifying, that's 2h minus h squared. Let's go ahead and plug that into the volume formula. So I have v is pi over 3 times 2h minus h squared, that's my r squared, times h. And now I've simplified that, so I have v in terms of h is this. And I should think about on what interval h lies. Well, if we think about this, the largest it could be, well, the radius distance from here to here is one, so the distance straight through is two, so that tells me that h sits between zero and two. Now we know that zero or two is obviously not going to give us the maximum, but mathematically speaking, h is on that closed interval 0, 2, and I could use the closed interval method if I choose to do that. So let's go ahead and differentiate. So I have v prime h is equal to pi over 3 times 4h minus 3h squared. That's pi over 3 times h times four minus three h. Setting that equal to zero, I get that my critical numbers are h equals zero, and when four minus three h is zero, so that's when h is equal to four thirds. And I'm gonna use the closed interval to show that h equals four thirds gives me a maximum. So clearly v of zero, so recall that this is v, and I'm using the closed interval method, and v of zero is zero as well. v of the other endpoint of that interval, v of two, is also zero. Now let's check v of four thirds. Well, that's slightly more complicated, but when I evaluate v at four thirds, I get this, which I simplified, which is clearly greater than zero. 
So I can say by the closed interval method that indeed that gives me the maximum volume. It's attained when H is four thirds of a meter and the maximum volume is that. So I've gone ahead and I've recorded that by the closed interval method, the maximum volume is 32 pi over 81 cubic meters.